Good afternoon. This week's word of the week is going to be root face. And the reason I'm doing this is I got the blank look again. I said, go put a bigger face on it. And uh, kid just looked at me and I realized he had no idea what I was talking about when I said the word face. So the proper term is root face. On a scale of one to 10 over here, if you don't know what a root face is and you're in the welding world, it's gonna be a nine or a 10. I'm just gonna go ahead and start with a 10 because it's a big deal if you don't know what a face is. And the face is important on uh, welds because it, it absorbs heat basically is what it does. And we're gonna kind of go over what the point of the face is and kind of some of the troubleshooting you can do as well. So let's get over here to the, also known as proper term root face. Most people say face. They just say put a bigger face on it or put a smaller face on it or make sure you put a face on it. They also may say put a bigger land on it or put a smaller land on it. Those are common terms that are referring to the root face. When you need a good face, it's gonna be when you're doing an open root groove joint, either on plate or pipe, okay? There's no backing ring or backing bar, so you need that face to absorb the heat so that you don't blow a big hole in it, all right? Ways to get it on there. The most common is probably a grinder. If you're doing plate, you put it in a vise and just take the grinder over until you get the desired uh, dimension of the face. Uh, lathe, if you're doing a uh, pipe, is probably the best way to do pipe. You put it in a lathe, then you spin it. If you're doing, you know, test coupons, if you're in the field, pipe's going to probably be in a 20-foot length, so you can't spin it in a lathe, right? That's when you're going to go back to your grinder. Uh, sanding disc, I put that on there. Um, people use belt sanders and things like that. To put, they put the pipe right on there and hold it until they get the dimension they want. And uh, the best way to do it on a plate is with a mill, right? You put it in a mill, you run the mill back and forth, and it's, it's absolutely perfect, right? Pretty much anyways. So that's the way you establish it. So we've kind of gone over why you would use it to absorb heat, things like that, and this is how you get it on. So let's go over some troubleshooting. Um, if you're blowing holes in an open root groove joint, your instructor, he or she is probably gonna say, increase the face, okay? It gives you more surface area and more uh, material to absorb that heat to keep you from blowing holes. So if you're blowing holes, the first thing they're gonna say is increase the face or they're gonna say move it in, um, tighter so you're not have such a big gap but those two things will help you from blowing holes all right uh, no penetration I can't get through if you're jamming 6010 in there if you're doing stick and you can't get through you can't get through they're gonna say decrease the face there's too much material there it's not allowing it to get through the actual open root so they're gonna say decrease the face or they're gonna say um, open it up more those two things will help you get penetration if you're getting no penetration so you're gonna want to um, you know, decrease the face if you're getting no penetration. I just did a quick little drawing here. All right. When you bevel a plate, it puts that angle on, whatever the angle is. Usually it's 30 to 40 degrees. They put the angle on and it comes down to a point. If you're doing tag or even MIG, you can get away with having a small root face on here, but not with stick, right? So they're going to tell you to put a face on it. Usually it's going to be less than or equal to eighth of an inch. And all that is, is you grind or whatever process you use, and you put a flat spot right here on the, on the point, and that absorbs more heat. So if you don't know that that's a face, that's a problem, all right? So make sure you understand what a root face is. Now, I've, I uh, put a face on a plate over here, and I put uh, a face on two pipes, and we'll look at that uh, so you can see, not just out of a picture, you can see a real live root face on both plate and pipe, because that's what you're going to see it on, all right? So let's take a look. All right, so here's the plate that I put the face on. You can see right here is the roof face. It's about an eighth of an inch. Put it on with a handheld grinder. And it's just a flat spot that helps absorb the heat when you're putting that root pass in. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, some root faces on some pipe. All right, so here's two pipes. We turned them down on a lathe. And you see that flat spot right about here. That's your root face. And that's going to allow you to not blow big holes when you put these together. It's going to absorb that heat. All right. So hopefully that explains what a root face is. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld, and we'll see you next time.